Hey there, my name is Andrew. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use custom objects within workflow actions and triggers. Custom objects are a new feature to high level that are really exciting. And they're going to allow us to do a lot of really cool things, especially in automations. So let's dive right in. Now, before we use a custom object within a workflow, we're going to create one by going to settings and then going to objects under other settings on the left hand side. And we have two types of objects. We have standard objects, which are going to be associated with contacts. And then we have custom objects, which are really exciting. We're going to do this by clicking add custom object in the right hand side. And then we're going to create our object here. Now, before we get into creating custom objects, let me explain a little bit about what they are and how we can use them. Think of custom objects as a tool that allows us to associate information between different contacts and different actions within our workflows and within our CRM. This will allow us to apply specific attributes to different users, to different actions, and it's overall going to give us some really neat functionality that's going to allow us to customize our CRM even further. I know it might seem a little complicated, but let's dive right in and I'll walk you through it. For example, this custom object, we're going to be using cars and car colors. So we're going to call our custom object car. We're going to call the plural cars, and then we're going to enter the field name as color. And then the field type will be single line text field. Then we can change our icon to that of a car. We have lots of different options here. And then we're going to add in a description like this. Then we can click create custom object like this. And now we've got a custom object created. Now let's go ahead and head to automations. At our automation screen, we're going to click create workflow, and then we're going to click cars based workflow. Once we open up our cars based workflow, we'll be able to see that we have a new trigger and new action for our car object. As you can see right here under custom object, we've got those two triggers, one for car created and one for car changed. Now the business use case that I'm going to show you is whenever a contact purchases a car, let's say from a car dealership. So we're going to say car created as our workflow trigger. Here we can add the filters for that field that we added, which was color. And we'll say if the color is, let's say exact match phrase, and let's say blue. Then we're going to click save, and now we can move on to our actions. When we click this, we'll have some of our regular actions, things like send data and internal actions, but things like sending an SMS or an email or creating contacts or contact-based actions aren't gonna be available within this object-specific workflow. But we do have three specific actions for our object. We have create car or associated record, update car or associated record, and clear fields of car or associated record. Since we're using a car created trigger, we're going to use a create car or associated record custom object action, select our car as our object, select our color down below, and I'll explain what fields are in a second. Now, whenever we put in this color, it does not have to be the same one as the one we used earlier. As we said, it was blue, but we can also use a custom value by over here. We can select custom object car color, so we can put in that color right there. So it'll update that to blue since this workflow only launched whenever a car was created with the color blue and we can go ahead and click save. Now that's how you navigate using custom objects in triggers and actions, but I'm gonna show you a couple of more steps to explain this a little bit thoroughly. If you wanna test this out for yourself, then feel free to leave this video now, go ahead and test it and then come back when you have more questions, but let's dive in a little bit deeper. Now, as we just saw, we have this fields option right here, but you see there's no fields here. We do have fields in the sub account, so why aren't there any fields? Well, these are going to be fields that are associated with the object itself. If we go back to the object under settings and then objects, we can click the three dots and then click add custom fields. We were also able to do this in this screen whenever we were creating it. At first, we could add in custom fields associated with this object specifically. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna click add custom fields. We're going to make it single line and we are going to make it called color. Now we've got the car color and we're going to include this under car info under the group. This was automatically created when we created that object. And then we will click save. Now we've got a custom field that's associated with our object in the CRM. Now, if we go back to our automation, in our car workflow, then we can go back to this record, click fields, and then now we see that car color field appears since we created it and it's associated with that object. Now, once we select this as a field, we can now update the field right here. So if you remember, we have our color that's associated with the object itself, and we've got the car color, which is that custom field that we mentioned earlier. We can update this to whatever we want. For this example, we're going to use the same custom field from color and then we can click save. Now this is useful because we can now reference this field in other parts of our sub account and in other parts of our workflow. So for example, if we want to do, let's say a update custom value, we can update our custom value, which is going to be a random custom value like this to our new value, which is either the custom object car color, which is the original field that we created or car color, the additional field that we added onto that object itself. Now, in reality, what we would want to do is ideally add different aspects of the object into those different fields. So for example, we have color, we have horsepower, VIN number, number of wheels, 
number of doors. All of these different pieces of information will be associated with this contact by going to objects, clicking add custom fields, and then adding those separate fields for the object itself. This is important because it allows us to essentially group sets of information that are associated with that object. So let's say we have a contact that is associated with the car. It has bought a car and that car has been created under that contact. Now we have organized in our custom fields. We have the car color, the VIN number, the horsepower, the number of doors, the number of wheels, etc. So rather than having a bunch of custom fields spattered about the account, we have all of them associated under car and we can reference all of those within workflows. Now, if you've never used custom objects before, I'm sure this can seem a little bit daunting, but I hope this made it a little bit easier for you to understand. If you have any questions, of course, please refer to support or the rest of the help doc, or as I would recommend, experiment with it yourself. Create your own custom objects, see how they can relate to different objects and contexts and actions and things that happen within your CRM, and I'm sure you'll pick up pretty quickly. Objects are really exciting, and I'm excited to use them myself, so I hope you found this helpful, and as always, thank you so much for watching.